Namaste. Today we are going to learn a little bit about the Hindu festival of Diwali, also known as the festival of lights. Uh, it's one of the major festivals of Hindus worldwide and um, it spans over three days. This year it will begin on the 24th of October and um, it will continue uh, all the way um, through the 27th of October. Now uh, the Hindu calendar, it's a lunar calendar. So the days of Diwali don't directly correspond to our solar calendar days. So the first day of Diwali is um, Dhanatrayodashi that is the 13th day of the Hindu calendar month of Ashwin which is currently going on and this is the second fortnight or the dark fortnight of the Hindu calendar month of Ashwin and the 13th day of it begins Diwali and Dhanatrayodashi is the Hindu fiscal new year. So Hindu tradesmen or businessmen are supposed to open or start the books on this day and um, on this day also Hindus celebrate the birth anniversary of the deity Dhanvantari. Dhanvantari is the deity of Ayurveda. Ayurveda is an ancient medical science given to us by Hindu Dharma or Hinduism and um, to celebrate this day the uh, tradesmen or business people they um, uh, worship the books uh, ritualistically uh, with due reverence and um, uh, people who uh, practice Ayurveda uh, especially who prescribe uh, treatments as per Ayurveda they are Ayurvedic doctors then uh, they pray to the deity Dhanvantari and every in, uh, Hindu individual also prays to the deity and um, seeks the blessings of the deity for a long life and on this day holy sacrament that is offered unto the deity Dhanvantari is uh, distributed and that holy sacrament is supposed to be very good for your health um, considering that it is uh, from the deity Ayurved, of Ayurved Dhanvantari uh, it has uh, something called neem leaves and uh, neem is um, uh, a particular plant if you type on google you will get the botanical name I don't know it's a bit long uh, but um, it uh, has very bitter leaves and so you add a little bit of the bitter leaves and they give you um, a lot of uh, good health and a lot of spiritual benefits then moving on to the next day which is the 25th of October um, you have uh, again um, a mixture of the 13th and the 14th day because we are following the lunar phases and not the solar calendar and um, that brings us to the next day of uh, Diwali called Narak Chaturdashi so Narak, uh, Narak Sur, Narkasur was a demon that was slayed by Hindu's uh, revered incarnation the incarnation of Lord Vishnu, uh, Krishna. So Krishna slayed Narkasur on this day. So this day is a celebration of that victory of righteousness over evil. And um, uh, on this day, uh, people wake up uh, as, as also on all days of Diwali, such as um, Dhanatrayodashi that we just discussed about, and this 14th day. Uh, people wake up early before sunrise and they take uh, aus an auspicious bath and uh, the auspicious bath is uh, special in that you use um, a herbal fragrant powder to rub yourself with as well you use uh, oil you perform a bit of oil massage for yourself mothers perform it on their little children and um, then you take that bath and you get spiritual benefits from it that last for several hours afterwards which makes you feel fresh and um, feel, makes you feel like um, uh, you can concentrate on the divine and then uh, uh, we go on to uh, celebrate with sweets and um, uh, some rituals and then 
the next day which is the 26th of october is the real day of diwali um, that is celebrated everywhere and um, that particular day uh, the deity lakshmi or the goddess of prosperity is worshipped along with the deity of wealth that is kuber and um, on this day uh, a new broom is also um, brought by hindus and that new broom is used to sweep at midnight uh, sweep away poverty and the lack of prosperity and to usher in the prosperity uh, through this goddess and uh, an image of the goddess or a statue of the goddess is installed ritualistically on this day and uh, through uh, due prayers and reverence um, her spirit or um, her blessings are invoked in that statue for worship and then the next day after that is uh, also considered a new year uh, in some parts uh, of the hindu communities and that is uh, on the 27th of october and that is parva and that is also that is also celebrated in uh, uh, commemorating um, when lord krishna the hindus revered incarnation slayed um, the demon king bali and uh, bali was a generous king but he was uh, he did not maintain discretion as to whom he was generous towards so in hindu scriptures it is uh, explained that generosity is to be uh, done or uh, and donations are to be done towards the deserving and it um, basically uh, tells us exactly to whom to donate and to whom to be charitable towards however he was not following that and that's why sometimes he was giving whatever uh, someone wanted regardless of their eligibility and such a person who is not eligible and uh, if they get lot of um, wealth uh, then they can use it for undesirable purposes so lord vishnu he um, incarnated uh, that day as um, a little um, boy and uh, he came to um, uh, bali's um, uh, court and uh, he said that uh, i would also like uh, some arms and then uh, the king said that um, okay Uh, what would you like and he said i um, just want uh, a land that is covered by uh, three footsteps three of my footsteps and the king thought is that all you want and he said well then that's fine take three footsteps and that land is yours uh, all that area is yours so immediately lord vishnu then uh, assumed and um, um an expansive form and with his first footstep he covered the earth region with the second footstep he covered the heavens or the sky and then with the third footstep now he didn't have any place to uh, put it on so he asked the king where should i put my third footstep so the king said you put place it on my head the king realized that um, it is the lord uh, who has um, incarnated and the king said that now all my i'm going to lose all my kingdom so uh, and now you're going to send me to the nether region and uh, lord vishnu said yes so you ask for a boon what would you like uh, before i do this and the king said that uh, in memory of these three footsteps may um, uh, these three days of uh, surrounding diwali be celebrated in my name let it be called my kingdom or my reign so during this time it is said that uh, we are in the reign of the king bali and uh, we are supposed to be do as we please however even while we do as we please hindus are still not supposed to do three prohibited acts as per hinduism which is smoking drinking alcohol and eating prohibited foods so this is just a gist of diwali there are a couple more festivals that come uh, just before diwali uh, in uh, reverence uh, to the uh, hindus um, mm, uh, revered animal um, the cow and um, just after diwali um, there is the uh, festival where um, a sister uh, performs a ritual um, for her brother 
um, and those are also often considered to be a part of Diwali. However, they are, as per the Hindu scriptures, separate festivals.